Germany is sick, and it is not just about the economy. Once a paragon of European prosperity, Germany is at a crossroads. Will it once again be the sick man of Europe, or will the lessons of the past be heard in time? Welcome to Living History. The issues Germany is facing today did not appear overnight. In fact, to understand them, we must journey back, not just a few years, but decades into its intricate past. After the ravages of World War II, Europe was in ruins, with Germany bearing the brunt of the devastation. Enter the Marshall Plan, an ambitious initiative by the US to rebuild the shattered economies of Western Europe. This aid was instrumental in sparking what would come to be known as the West German Wirtschaftswunder, or economic miracle. However, the story was markedly different in the East. Devoid of such support, East Germany lagged, creating economic disparities that would persist for decades. When the Berlin Wall fell in 1989 and Germany reunified in 1990, these disparities were brought to the forefront. While West Germany had flourished under capitalist influences and the benefits of the Marshall Plan, East Germany had grappled with a stagnant socialist economy. This historical division and the economic divergence between the East and West set the stage for the intricate issues that continue to unfold in Germany today. Fast forward to the early 2000s, and Germany was on fire. Economically speaking, of course, as the world marveled at the rapid strides in technology and the rise of the internet, Germany rode its own wave of economic success. Two decades ago, the term German efficiency wasn't just about punctual trains or precision engineering. It symbolized a booming economy that seemed almost unstoppable. The country, recovering from the challenges of reunification, found its economic rhythm and started to outpace even its most robust counterparts, like the US, Japan, and France. Reforms introduced during this period triggered what many termed a golden age. For instance, the automobile industry, with brands like BMW, Mercedes, and Volkswagen. Volkswagen was soaring, exporting luxury and efficiency to all corners of the globe. The country's machinery and equipment sector, too, was unmatched, producing tools and machines that powered industries worldwide. German brands became household names. Whether it was a Bosch drill, an Adidas sneaker, or a piece of precision equipment from Siemens, made in Germany was a label of quality and innovation. Germany became the poster child for economic success in Europe. Yet, as we return to today's landscape, the golden sheen seems to be fading. The Germany that once spearheaded global growth now finds itself navigating a maze of challenges, many of its own making. While recent events like the Ukraine conflict are exacerbating Germany's challenges, they aren't the birthplace of these issues. To grasp the full picture, we have to look to the past. At a time when the world hailed Germany as an economic dynamo, underlying vulnerabilities lurked. The reliance on cheap energy imports, predominantly from Russia, was a ticking time bomb. Why did Germany place so much trust in Russian energy? The answer can be traced back to the era of former Chancellor Gerhard Schröder. His deep Russian connections, evident in roles like his seat on the board of Gazprom, played a crucial part. Through his tenure, deals were struck that anchored Germany's energy fate with Russia. But there's another layer to this story. Germany's choice to step away from nuclear energy. This wasn't merely a contemporary environmental decision. It was a reflection of a nation's deeply ingrained sentiments. Memories of World War II's devastation, intertwined with the trauma of nuclear disasters like Chernobyl in 1986, have shaped the German psyche. The echoes of these events fostered a strong anti-nuclear stance, culminating in decisions to phase out nuclear plants, which inadvertently intensified Germans' reliance on Russian energy sources. The result? Today, with the war intensifying energy challenges, we see Germany grappling with an energy crisis. Just to give you an idea, in early 2023, Germans' energy consumption plummeted nearly 7% from the previous year. The aftereffects of Russia's Ukraine invasion sent European energy prices soaring, and even though they've somewhat stabilized now, settling to 44% below their peak, the damage for many industries is done. But energy isn't the only concern. 
As the world marvels at the advancements in technology, Germany appears to be in a retro mode. The nation that once prided itself on engineering marvels and state-of-the-art technology is surprisingly lagging in the digital domain. According to the OECD Digital Government Index, Germany scores the lowest among the 29 OECD countries in the data-driven public sector dimension. The disparity is even more glaring, considering the country's internet and mobile data speeds are far behind the world right now. High-speed internet is available in mostly big cities and the people of rural areas face many problems. The administrative lag is evident. During the pandemic chaos, health authorities stuck to fax machines instead of embracing the tech era. Schools are stuck with clunky computers and town offices seem to have missed the online memo altogether. Germany's robust industrial sector, responsible for a significant 24% of Germany's GVA, includes a centerpiece, the engineering and automotive domains. Within this sector, brands synonymous with luxury and performance, such as Volkswagen, Porsche and Mercedes, are facing substantial challenges. Collectively, they represent about 5% of Germany's economy. These challenges stem from the aftermath of the pandemic, muddled supply chains and a cooling global economy. A notable example is Volkswagen, which, as Germany's largest automaker, plays a vital role. In its largest market, China, Volkswagen experienced a sharp drop in deliveries, plummeting by 14.5% in early 2023. While there was a slight recovery in the subsequent months, it still trailed behind 2022's performance. Furthermore, Volkswagen, Porsche, and Mercedes found it hard to switch to electric vehicles in the country, as they stepped in very late because the cheap prices of gas from Russia held them back from making a big switch. As a result, Germany's automotive market is now ruled by Elon Musk's Tesla, beating the domestic competitors by dishing out more and more cars every month from its Berlin Gigafactory. In addition to these challenges, industry-focused protectionism is throwing yet another curveball, placing further strain on Germany's export capacity. The US Inflation Reduction Act of 2022, aimed at safeguarding domestic companies, has resulted in a decline of sales for German products in one of their largest markets. And then there's the looming talent crunch, where the numbers tell a compelling story. According to the Munich-based research institute IFO, the shortage of skilled workers has risen to a new high in Germany, affecting 49.7% of companies in July 2022. The imminent wave of retirements on the horizon, combined with an unmet demand for skilled workers, spells more trouble. The same year, the country's labor shortage also rose to an all-time high. The Institute for Employment Research IAB, found 1.74 million vacant positions throughout Germany. Germany's refugee situation, though humanitarian at heart, adds another layer of complexity to the talent pool. While Germany has welcomed over a million Ukrainian refugees, many of whom are women and children who are expected to return home, the skilled labor shortage remains a pressing concern. Now, apart from the financial factors and industrial undertones, the political wins in Germany are a story of their own. Political stability, or the lack of it, is a significant roadblock in Germany's path to economic recovery. The coalition government of Social Democrats SDP, Liberal Free Democrats FDP and Greens seems rooted in indecision, creating unease among major businesses. This inertia is magnified by internal coalition disputes especially with parties like the debt-wary FDP. Interestingly, the influence of the coalition is evident in decisions that once seemed unthinkable. For instance, the Green Party, historically anti-nuclear, chose to prolong the operation of two nuclear power plants initially slated for shutdown. This move signifies the mounting desperation within political circles and the hard choices they're forced into during an energy shortfall. Yet, deeper still, we see history echoing in the rise of the far-right alternative für Deutschland, AFD, a party that didn't just emerge overnight. Its foundation lies in the remnants of East Germany's collapse and the ensuing struggles of reunification. East Germans, many feeling marginalized, gravitated towards strong voices opposing immigration, particularly during the refugee surge from Syria under Angela Merkel and now Ukraine following the Russian invasion. This created a ripe environment for the AFD's growth, with its firm anti-immigration stance. And while the AFD's influence grows, current leadership treads carefully, avoiding drastic measures that might fuel the AFD's narrative. Pulling at about 20%, they loom large, potentially securing state elections soon. So, how do these internal German dynamics affect the larger European narrative? 
picture a seesaw. Germany, long viewed as Europe's solid core, is now shaky. A wobbly Germany threatens the stability of the European Union. And a power vacuum. History tells us it's an invitation for ambitious forces to step in. With Germany potentially faltering, certain powers might see a chance to push their agendas, sometimes contrary to the EU's foundational values of democracy, human rights, and freedom. These aren't fictional scenarios, they're today's headlines. Leaders like Francis Le Pen, Poland's Kaczynski, and Hungary's Orban offer a contrasting vision for Europe. While it's far-fetched to say the EU will crumble soon, Germany instability could set a domino effect in motion. Should other EU nations, influenced by Eurosceptics, reconsider their EU alliance, we might be looking at a weakened union. However, history has shown Germany's resilience time and time again, from world wars, divisions and reunifications to financial downturns. Germany has always risen, demonstrating its enduring spirit. But will history repeat itself, or is a new chapter awaiting? Subscribe to stay updated. This is Living History, signing off.